everyone, I'm Sarah Beth and this is my channel. If you're watching this video, hopefully it means that my last video, this DIY box pillow, has already received 200 likes. If it hasn't received 200 likes, that probably means that I just got a little impatient waiting for those 200 likes and posted this video anyway, but I'm really hoping that's not the case. That being said, have you not already seen it, I already have this box pillow out on my channel that you can go and watch right now. In the video that you're currently watching, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these cute little elephant pillows right here. Elephants are really popular right now. I don't know why. I find them super adorable. This one right here is going to be going on my bed. It matches my room, which I'm happy about. And then this one I might give to my niece as a gift or something like that. But they're both super cute and definitely bed worthy. For this video, I have made a printable PDF pattern for you all to print out and use to make these pillows. The pattern is free and you can find the link to it down below. It should be a Google Doc and it should be really easy to find. If you would like to support me though, you can also purchase the pattern from my Etsy shop, which I will have the link to as well and that will just be a few dollars. It's up to you, your choice. I have the free option. I understand why you would do that. If you would still like to support me though, please give this video a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. For these pillows, I used my sewing machine to sew them, and I did a little bit of hand sewing. If you would like to hand sew the whole thing, that's totally an option. And then there's also hot glue. I know that's really popular right now, people hot gluing pillows and things like that. You are welcome to try and hot glue this. I don't see why there would be a problem with it. Um, but I do think that sewing it would look a lot better, so if you do have access to a sewing machine or know how to sew, I would recommend doing that before hot gluing it. Another pillow that I'd like to share with you guys is this owl pillow that I have right here. I made this video quite a while ago, and I'll put the link down below and maybe somewhere in this video for you guys to go check this wonderful video out. It's actually been really popular and I've gotten great feedback from it so that's super exciting and that's kind of why I'm making these two videos that I've just made um, is because this one kind of inspired me to do so. So yeah, if you would like to check out this owl pillow, I will have that for you guys as well. And then one last thing before we get started, I just want to ask you guys to comment down below which one of these three different pillows is your favorite. Four if you count the two different elephant pillows. Um, just tell me which one you like the best. And then, if you have any requests for future pillows, anything that you would like me to do, it doesn't have to be an animal, it could be like a fruit, a vegetable, anything that you want, post that down below and I will definitely go through them. If I get one that's super common, maybe that's one that I'll do, or something that I think that I really like, I will also maybe try and do that video. Um, so yeah, please post down below and let's get started. As for supplies, you'll need some fabric, some thread, some fiber fill stuffing, the printout that I have for you guys with the link below, some safety eyes or something for the eyes, some yarn, a pair of scissors, and some pens. You'll also need some interfacing or some felt and some tape. Here is the printout that I have for you guys. These are the five pages that are included. The first thing that you're going to want to do is just cut out that printout, each piece. And once we've done that, we're just going to set them together. So it has letters on it, so what you're going to do is put A next to A, B next to B, C next to C, and so on. And then once you have all of that, you're just going to tape the pieces together. Each piece has three things on it. What the piece is how many to cut, and of what color. The next thing that we're going to want to do is just lay our pattern down onto our fabric, and then here what I'm doing is I'm just pinning the pattern to the fabric. There are two different ways to do this. I prefer to pin my pattern and then cut it out, but other people prefer to draw around the pattern and then just cut on the drawn line. There are a few pieces of the pattern that need to be flipped over and cut out on the other side. So what you should have is two elephant pieces that fit right side together like this. 
four ear pieces that fit right side together like this, two inner ear pieces, two pieces of interfacing of the ears, and a tail. What I like to do is I like to set out my pattern before I sew it together to make sure I have all the pieces in the right direction. So here I am just showing you guys my pattern all set out. Here's the safety eye that I'm going to be using. You do not have to purchase safety eyes. You could just stitch a eye on or do whatever you would like. But here I'm just going to show you how I did my safety eye. So I marked where I wanted the eye to go and then I cut a little slit into the fabric. You can see the cut right there. Here I'm taking some interfacing and I'm just going to cut a tiny slit in that as well. And this is just going to help the eye stay in a little bit better and not rip the fabric. So I put it through the fabric first and then through the interfacing and then I'm going to put the back on. Now I'm just going to stitch on some lashes like that. Obviously the lashes are optional. So here we're going to start sewing and I'm going to take the ear and a piece of inner ear and I'm going to sew this on using my sewing machine. You can do this by hand or glue it if that's what you are doing. I am using a blanket like stitch to sew this on. My fabric was really not that great. The inner ear, um, very stretchy and hard to put on. Now to sew the rest of the ear, what we're going to do is we're going to take the front piece and we're going to put it good sides together with the back piece and then we're going to have our piece of interfacing right there on the top. So it's going to be interfacing, back piece, and then front piece. We're going to leave an opening about that big and then we are going to sew with a straight stitch all the way around the ear, just leaving that little gap so that we can turn the entire ear inside out. And then once we have that inside out, it's finished, so that's what you need to do both, to both of them. Now I'm going to do the tail, and so what I'm doing is I'm just folding down one edge of it, and I'm going to sew that down. You can use whatever stitch you want here, a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch or anything that you want. You can sew it by hand, glue it down, whatever is needed. And then after that, I'm just going to fold the good sides of that together, so the part that wasn't folded down, long ways, hot dog style, if you will, pin that and then sew that down. And I'm using a straight stitch for this because I need as much space as possible to turn this piece inside out. Next for the tail, I just took a piece of yarn and I cut a piece that was about double the size of the tail fabric that we have. And then I recut that piece about six to seven times. And then I took those pieces and I folded them over like so and stuck them into the edge of the tail that we sewed down. So the sewn edge that's a little bit cleaner than the other. Then I just took that to my sewing machine and sewed that down. You can do this by hand, that's totally fine. If you're hot gluing, you're going to need to put the glue around the yarn before inserting it into the rest of the tail. You're going to take that piece and pin it to the butt of the elephant and then pin the good sides together of the elephant before we start sewing that around. I like to pin everything all the way around. And then we're going to leave a gap about that big right there where I have the double pins. And those double pins are just to help me remember where to stop while I'm sewing. And I'm just using a straight stitch. Then I'm just going to turn the elephant inside out in that gap that I left right under the neck. And once it's inside out, you're just going to need to stuff it. Pencils and things like that are really helpful when stuffing, specifically the trunk. The trunk can be really difficult to stuff. Once you have it, the rest should be pretty easy. And then I'm just going to pin that opening closed to help me as I hand sew the rest of the elephant closed. For the sewing, I am using a ladder stitch, which is a pretty common invisible stitch used when trying to close 
stuffed animals and things like that. I am not going to show you guys how to do it, but you can find tutorials here online. I'm also using the ladder stitch to close up the sides of the ears that are still open. And it's pretty simple to do a ladder stitch. All you're doing is just picking up small pieces of fabric from each side. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. But if not, like I said, there are tutorials online that you can use to follow. Um, just look up ladder stitch. After everything's all closed up, we're going to take our ear, which has a bigger side and a smaller side, and we're going to sew it onto the elephant. We're going to use the bigger side on the top and the smaller side on the bottom with the inner ears facing outward. And we're just going to sew using a ladder stitch all the way down or any stitch that you can come up with that would be very invisible. And then it will be finished. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, post them down below. Don't forget to post which pillow is your favorite and any recommendations or requests that you guys have for future pillows or future videos, anything like that, post it down below. I'll be sure to try and look at them all. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye!